single coil RDAs. There is fans of single coil RDAs out there. I'm one of them. I'm a fan of single coil tanks. I'm also a fan of single coil RDAs. But single coil RDAs that go that little bit further to give benefits to the end purchaser. Like for instance, the inclusion of a glass cap and we're looking at a full glass cap actually included in the box with this RDA and that's one of the many little check boxes that this particular RDA is bringing to the market. This is the Dam Vape Mongrel RDA, a single coil RDA designed by Deuces Jack. And here's the big question, is this a must have purchase for the end of 2020? Especially for all you single coil RDA fans out there. Only one way to find out, it's time for a dripper review. So, look around the Mongrel RDA, which is a collaboration between Deuces Jack and, of course, Dambi, starting at the top with the drip tip. Let's pop this off. You've got your usual 810 drip tip with the O-ring on the inside of the drip tip. Then you've got the main barrel of the RDA. That's you got the logo there. Side airflow there. Nothing on this side. Back to the side airflow and the logo down at the base. Squawk pin already pre-installed, the mongrel, there's the serial number. Don't vape in a bin, you've got Juice's Jack logo, and of course, damn vape down there at the bottom. So, let's pop the top cap off of this thing. We're going to grab you and have a look at what's actually going on inside. So, obviously, it's a full side turn, which means you've got to twist the entire top cap round to get the airflow working, popping the top cap off. That is a damn good finish in there. Look at that. That is a, well, of course it's not focusing in because it's all shiny and stainless steel. So we're going to have to buddy. There we go. That is a really nice finish in there. So it's partially domed, although it's more of a step dome going on at the top of the top cap in order to get a little bit more flavour concentration in there. But that's a very clean looking cap. Switch the autofocus back on again. And then we, of course, have the deck. So, focus, thank you. We've got the deck running here and the way that this thing is working is the air comes in from the side port there, right? Comes in from the side port there and the side port there. But as you can see, it's sloping down because the air is actually coming in from the bottom. Why are you not focusing in? It's concentrating. On the damn post screws, of course it is. Hold on, let's just do that. There we go. So the air is coming in from here. And that is where these little fellas come in. You've got two airflow inserts. One slotted and one is just a gaping wide hole for massive, massive airflow. And the way this is works, the way this works is rather simple. There's the main airflow intake there. So you grab these ridged bits with your finger and thumb like that and you simply drop this, there's an o-ring there that you've seen, the o-ring holds everything in place, you just drop that in, give it a push, make sure the little lips are lining up there so they're not going to impact your coil, and that's you got the gaping wide airflow insert, finger and thumb again, to go into here, give it a wiggle to pull it out, and what I'm going to be using is the slotted airflow for a little bit more resistance, again, finger and thumb, this pops in like that, push it in, and that's you done. Now, there is a downside with the way that this is rigged. It means that when your coil is in place, you basically can't change the airflow, because think about it, your coil is sitting right there like that, there's going to be a leg going in there and a leg going in there. You will not be able to take this out you simply won't be able to take it out because the coil is going to be sitting directly on top of it. So what I say to everyone, before you put your coil in, test out the two airflow inserts. Just pop the cap on and take a, take a pull from it with no coil in it. That way you'll get an idea of what kind of resistance you're looking for. With this in here, you're looking at something you can basically breathe through. With this in here, you're looking at something that gives you a bit more flavour. Yeah, anyway, 
you've got a super deep juice well here, a super deep juice well here, and then you've got your post holes on either side. This side's obviously positive because there's the insulator there. This side is negative because it's milled in. And you've got the mongrel logo on one side. Talking about popping a coil in, let's get your people wondering where this came from, by the way. It's Bearded Viking Customs. They also make this, which I love this little fella. It's a little octopus build stand. I won, the, I won this in a charity auction. So yeah, Bearded Viking Customs. Give them a search on Facebook. I'm going to use the skull one here, so let's pop you in, and let's pop one of the bigger coils in here, if I've got any of them left, I'm sure I do, proper coils, I'm sure I had some of those five core aliens left, that's three core, that's fused, oh don't tell me I don't have any, oh there's one, yes, lovely, so we're going to be popping in that big fella, a big five core alien. I did have some staple stagger fuse Claptons, but I think I used the last two in the goon up in the house. So this is going to have to be a staggered, like not that kind of leg, but a staggered leg. So I'm going to have to get one of these legs and twist it round. So let's get, this is a three millimeter coil. And of course the three millimeter coil master is in here. I'm going to take you out because I'm going to need you. Three millimeter coil master, there it is. So I'm going to have to get this bent in leg and we're going to have to just simply throw that over. It does mean, of course, that the ohms are going to bump up by probably about 0.2 because I'm adding an extra half wrap here. That'll do. And we need an Allen screw thingy me bob. Um, it should be that size. Let's check. Um, we're going to be doing this legs down, which means that one. And that one. Now, having a very close look at these post holes, you will notice that there is an indentation going down, which means when you push the leg in, the leg will hopefully be trapped in place and it won't flail around falling out all the damn time when you're, when you're putting the other leg in. But let's find out and see if it works. I'm going to pop the coil in like that. Then we are going to... Come on. This is a bit on the big side, this coil, but it should be able to work in here. We need to push this coil in because that leg is a little bit on the short side. Hold on, let's try that and then just kink that leg in. Might need to pull that screw out a bit more. The trials and tribulations of using coils with very thick legs on them. There we go, that's it slotted in place. So we need to make sure that the coil is roughly centered. And then we start screwing this down. If the coil moves around a bit, don't worry about it. We'll fix that later on. There's one in. That's roughly centered. There's the second one in. So, this leg was already short, so I don't need to cut it, but I do need to cut this one. Let's head in here. Give that a snip. Looks good to me, and we're going to have to raise this coil up with that first of all, and then go in with the coil master pole. You'll also notice a ridge there, and a ridge there. That's where your coil master pole goes, and that's roughly where dam vape induces jack want the coil to actually sit. That's why you sometimes see these notches in single coil RDAs, because that's roughly where they want, where the designer of the RDA wants the coil to go. So you want to make sure the pole is sitting comfortably in those two notches. Give it a wiggle to make sure the coil's set, and then pull that out. And what you'll end up with is the coil lining up with the two holes. And there you go. That is 
it. That was very, very easy to coil. Very easy to coil. Now what we need to do is bed this thing in. Red Stag Designs DNA Burning Station. Doctor Who. Yes. Pop that on. Not at 70, that's going to be a little bit too high. I'm going to drop this down to 50 and then just give this a very slow burning. Very slow. You want to go through the rainbow first. Let the heat travel across the coil all by itself and that will let the core wraps settle in. Just give it some quick pulses as you're letting that heat travel in. That's the centre wraps glowing. Let it cool. Light, ra uh, light rack, rake, rack, rake. That's the word I'm looking for. And as you can see, oh, there's a little bit of a hot spot down here. That's looking good. Any hot spots down the centre of the coil? Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> Very, very easy dripper to coil in because, hey, it's a single coil dripper. Of course, it's easy to coil in. Now, what I am going to do here is I am going to take this off because I don't want to accidentally fire this damn thing when I'm popping the cotton through because I've done that a couple of times already. Back on to the skull and we're going to pop in some cotton here. Using cotton gods again because I've ran out of Muji and I keep forgetting to order more. So I'm just going to use some everyday cotton gods in here. Now again, this is a rather deep juice well, folks. You're looking at a juice. You're, you're looking at a juice well on either side here with a depth of about eight millimeters. So you're going to have to use a little bit more cotton than you're used to, just to make sure that your cotton is reaching the bottom of that deck, especially if you're going to be using this as a squonk RDA, because it's no use having cotton that's not reaching the bottom of the deck where you're squonking your juice into. Let's run the cotton through, give it a wiggle, and then head in with the scissors. Anyone seen my scissors? Seriously? They're not in the box. Oh, they're over there, because I was opening up another package. Hold on. There we go. And then all we need to do is, so we're going to be leaving about an inch and a half. Well, maybe an inch, not an inch and a half. Yeah, about an inch of cotton there. Same the opposite side, leave an inch of cotton there. And then what you want to do is go in with your tweezers and rake out any of the excess cotton, just the loose stuff, give it a very light raking. Same the opposite side, very light raking. Just to get rid of some of the looser stuff. Snip that up, snip that up, and then get your cotton and drop that down into the well. And there we go. That was the Mongrel RDA by Deuces, well, designed by Deuces Jack. Deuces Juices Jack? Seriously? I haven't had enough tea today, that's what the problem is. Designed by Deuces Jack. There we go and made by Damvape, back up top. If you're liking the content on this channel, not just the reviews, but the news stuff, and of course the live shows, and of course the What's Up Sunday update vlog, and all the eSig 101 videos, and you want to consider supporting Vaping with Vic financially, if you head to vapingwithvic.co.uk forward slash support, you will find multiple ways, via, either via Patreon, the YouTube membership subscription system, or other ways to actually support Vaping with Vic financially. This is a full-time job for me, folks, and what I'm sitting in right now is a studio that I'm renting out in an office building in the town that I'm living in. For more information on where your money's actually going to go, because you've, you, you, you'll have you want to know where your money's going to go, let's be honest, folks, if you do decide to join Patreon, for instance, again, head on to vapingwithvic.co.uk forward slash support and have a look at the video at the top. Back on to the review. And we're back up top with the Mongrel RDA. Uh, single coil that you see me pop down on the table cam. Got the airflow control fully open. I'm currently running it on the Vandevape Gar. Gar. 
uh, the new mod from Sup My Mod and Vandevape. Currently not running at 75 watts, not pushing it too hard, and we're off. Very crisp flavour from this. <sighs> Hold on a minute. Have I got this? I need to... You're probably noticing that slight whistle coming from the airflow, but I found if you just move the airflow slightly over, you're not just slightly over, by a little tiny bit, the whistle starts to... It's still there, but it's not quite as loud. Oh, that is good flavour. Now, the one thing I forgot to show you down in the table cam, and I was kicking myself when I was looking at the footage of the table cam when I started recording this. I forgot to show this. This actually comes with a glass cap in it, which is not rare, it is extremely rare, extremely rare, to come across a dripper that has a glass cap included in the box because normally with these glass caps they're third party or they're an accessory that you need to spend extra money on but the glass cap actually comes in the box thumbs up to deuces the, the, deuces probably had to kind of encourage them to actually do that because normally with these glass caps they do generally tend to be sold as an accessory to get more money from the end user but yeah big uh, big thumbs up to juices jack for actually encouraging damn vape to include the glass cap in with the rda and that's what the rda looks like with the glass cap on it are you ever going to focus on thank you that looks pretty damn good so i'm going to drop a little bit more liquid onto here hold on because that was starting to show signs of going a little bit dry. So pop a little bit of liquid on there. And we're off again. Still at 75 watts with the glass cap on it. Here we go. Damn. And that was the Mongrel RDA from Dam Vape and, of course, designed by Juices Jack. What do I think of this? The eyes and the nose. There is a whistle, and it only seems to be happening with the metal cap. But again, give that cap a tiny, just a minute twist to slightly close off the airflow, and the whistle starts to vanish. I think it's got something to do with the actual edges the actual edges of the air intake on the cap itself that's causing the whistling because as you can hear with the glass cap there's no whistle coming from it and to be honest i think i think a lot of people are probably going to end up using this with the glass cap on it rather than the metal cap because it just looks cool with the glass cap any other negative points that's it that is basically it. Um, that the fact that there is a slight whistle going on in there could be a little bit annoying for people that are going to constantly use this with the metal cap on it. But again, tiny twist. That gets rid of it. Good points. There is so many. Number one, the obvious one, is this. The fact that they're actually including a glass cap in the box, in retail, I, I'll be honest, I can't remember them. In fact, it's probably about two years ago now. Yeah, it probably is. I think the last dripper to include a full glass cap was one of the old Steam Crave RDAs that was released back in, what, 2017, 2018? Because I can't remember any other RDA out there from a mainstream manufacturer that's included a glass cap in the box all the time where I see glass caps being introduced for an RDA. It's generally two or three months after the RDA has been released and you've got to spend an extra 10 quid, or in the case of the US, an extra 12, 13 dollars to get your hands in that glass cap because glass caps are considered an accessory to the RDA. What Deuces and Dam Vape decided to do is say, screw it, we're including this in the box. Yeah, big thumbs up. Big thumbs up because there's a lot of people out there that prefer glass caps over metal caps. And the argument can be made that glass caps tend 
for some flavours, not all, but for some flavours, tend to give a cleaner, crisper flavour because you're dealing with glass on this surface. You're not dealing with a metal on the surface. There's a lot of people out there that swear by glass caps. That's what keeps the Trinity cap business going, who's a third party manufacturer of glass caps for various RDAs on the market. They've been on the go for a number of years now, and that's all the people that swear by glass caps. If you're a fan of glass cap RDAs, you might want to get your hands in the mongrel. It doesn't end there though. The airflow system they've got going in here with the two separate airflow inserts, one with the big huge gaping hole, which I'll be honest, it kind of dilutes the flavour down a bit and it makes it way too airy for my liking, but you do get the option of taking that out and popping in the slot airflow, which restricts the airflow down that little bit more. But more importantly, because it's a slot style airflow, it's hammering the coil with much higher air pressure in the center of the coil, which means you can drive the coil that little bit harder than you had with the normal whole airflow in there. So yeah, the airflow insert system, damn good idea. The coil mounting system, I've had zero issues with it, zero issues popping the coil in. And the fact it's a single coil RDA as well means that coiling and wicking on this is extremely, extremely easy. And the final good point, deep, deep juice well. This is a squonker's dream. Squonker's dream. And I might end up, I know, uh, will I? See, I don't squonk as much as I used to, folks, but I can see myself ending up converting this with the squonk pin back in it again and using it on a squonker because this is a very deep juice well. Very deep juice well. Perfect for squonking. Absolutely perfect for squonking. Anyway. Oh, and the flavour. I forgot about that. The flavour's phenomenal. Single coil RDA. And the flavour coming from this is almost, not quite, but it's almost matching well-known dual coil RDAs currently out on the market running wattage for wattage equivalents. The flavour from this is absolutely phenomenal. And I think a lot of that is to do with the way that this has been designed. This is a full bottom airflow RDA. Full bottom airflow. There's none of the angle stuff going on either from the top or from the bottom. All the air, all of it is coming directly from underneath the coil, which means the vapour is going straight up into your mouth, straight up. And I think that's what's leaning this more in favour of the way that the actual RDA has been designed. You really can't get away with full bottom airflow on a dual coil RDA because when, it, when you're talking about a dual coil RDA with the coil sitting side by side, generally what's happening with those two coils is they're underneath the main side of the chamber. So you've got to really do side airflow and not bottom airflow for a dual coil RDA these days because if you're doing bottom airflow for a dual coil RDA, a lot of that vapour is slamming off the top cap Single coil RDAs though, when you're looking straight down the drip tip, you're looking at the top of the coil, then you can get away with bottom airflow. And I think this is doing bottom airflow a massive, massive thumbs up because it's rare. Think about it, it is kind of rare to see a full bottom airflow, bottom airflow RDA these days. But this is doing the trick, folks, there's no getting around it. If you're all about the flavour, and that's what this dripper's all about, especially with the slot airflow insert, not the big wide open one, but the slot airflow insert. If you're all about the flavour and you're a fan of single coil RDAs, you might want to get your hands on this. Apart from the fact it's got a glass cap included in the box, the flavour from this thing with a nice big chunky coil inside is absolutely phenomenal. So Deuces Jack, You've done a good job on this, a really good job on this. Big thanks to the folks at Dambeat for sending the Mungrel RDA over 40 review. If you thought this review sucked, don't know what to do down below, so give it a thumbs up. Very first at the top, you've got the latest video, no matter what video you're watching the channel. Any that's latest What's Up Sunday update vlog in the middle. Shout out to the hashtag Floof Army, the Patreon, subscribe stars, and the YouTube members for support Make Me Back. That's what's paying for this studio. And underneath me is a little go click on that to subscribe. As always, folks, thanks for watching and have a good one.